So in the previous video, we looked at the factor theorem. In this video, we're looking at the remainder theorem, and it's very similar. So the remainder theorem says that if f of x is divided by x minus a, then f of a is equal to a remainder, the remainder that I get. Okay? So if I substitute in the value a, then I get my remainder. So what effectively that means is that if I were to divide this polynomial by, let's say, uh, x minus 2, then if I substitute in 2, notice how the sign changes, like as it did for the factor theorem, then two, I get 2 cubed is 8, 2 twos are 4, 3 fours are 12, plus 7 twos are 14, plus 5, is equal to 20, 34, 39. This implies that when f of x is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is 39. So this is the remainder theorem. And you might be thinking, well, what's the, really the difference between the factor theorem and the remainder theorem then? Because ultimately, we've done exactly the same thing, but with the factor theorem, you get zero, which therefore means that what you've divided by must be a factor. But with the remainder theorem, it says you get a number that isn't zero, and therefore this isn't a factor. It is, when you divide by that x minus 2, you actually get 39, so you get something left over. So it pretty much shows that the remainder theorem shows that x minus 2 isn't a factor. And you work with them in very similar ways. They just have slightly different conclusions at the end. Now, if a question says, show that x minus 2 is a factor, or find the remainder when f of x is divided by x minus 2, you must use the factor theorem and remainder theorem. At the moment, in these stages in the videos, there is no other thing that you can use. But in the next videos, we're going to be looking at polynomial division. And you must not use those to answer this question. Okay? And I make, I make that very clear. Okay? So, you must use the factor theorem and remainder theorem to show that a linear expression is a factor or that there will be a remainder.